do something to get my son justice because I'm not going away. A mother and her family are still reeling three years after the death of their loved one, and now they're asking LMPD to step up. John Johnson Jr. and Tyron Grant were shot and killed in their car on December 16th, 2020 at a food mart on Gaggle Avenue in Cloverleaf. And while the family say it's considered a cold case, they feel there's enough evidence for an arrest. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer talked to one of the victim's mother and joins us. Well, on most days when Lakeisha Jeffrey thinks about her son's death, it makes her sad to know that he is gone. But on days like this date, the anniversary of his death, she gets angry because she feels not enough is being done to get justice for him and find closure. <laughs> Blasting through the speaker Saturday is all that the family of John Johnson has to remember him by. Johnson was known in the music industry as rock star, but by his family as Little J. And on December 16, 2020, he and his friend Tyron Grant were shot and killed in cold blood. Three years later, it's still taking its toll. Um, when they killed my son, they got two for one because they killed my mother too. My mother died of a broken heart because her grandson uh, was murdered and she couldn't take it. Lakeisha Jeffrey is Johnson's mother and she says not much has changed in the status of his case since his death, but she believes the evidence is apparent. They had the vehicle that the assailants were in that were across the street. Um, it was a, a black Chrysler 300. Um, they have it in uh, evidence and they have never brought the person in that owns the vehicle in for questioning. A year after the shooting, Jeffrey says she watched her surveillance video showing the black Chrysler 300 in question and two men running to the car after they shot Grant and her son. But knowing that information has led to nothing enrages her every time his anniversary comes around. Each time I come to this date, uh, when I think about my son's case not being solved and I think about how my, me and my family haven't got closure, his children walking around without their father, it's been three years, um, I get angry. So they decided to gather at the scene to bring more attention to the case and to keep her son and Grant's name alive, hoping the resolution of this case leads to other families getting justice. I need to do this for us all because we have so many young black men taken away from their children and their families without even getting justice because nobody investigates their case to just throw it to the side. And while she knows LMPD has a shortage of officers and detectives, Jeffrey still feels more should be done and leads should have been followed. Because while LMPD may have labeled it a cold case, the loss is still warm and fresh to her and Johnson's three kids. It's a hard conversation with them because they love and miss them so much, but I have to, they keep, they, I don't even have to keep his name alive, they do. They, so they're going to keep it alive regardless. Jeffrey says they will continue to release their love for John to the skies until the case is solved and those responsible for his death face consequences. My son's name would not go nowhere. His name was John Robert Johnson Jr., Lil' J. You will hear it every day, and I won't quit until you are brought into justice. You won't get away with murdering my son. That's not gonna happen because he didn't deserve this. Jeffrey says they will continue to gather every other year at that same food mart on Gaggle Avenue until justice is served, and they finally get some closure. We've reached out to LMPD for more information regarding the case, but we haven't heard anything back yet. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.